In 2018, following a series of high-profile murders, President Seven issued a number of measures to help in ending violent crimes. The installation of surveillance cameras started in 2019, with many of them being placed on major highways. Who are those that were seated there? More than 3,000 CCTV cameras were installed in Kampala, Mukono and Wakiso districts. It is yet to be proven if the costly surveillance has helped to reduce crime, given that the masterminds and perpetrators of most of the high-profile murders have never been caught. The country is also plagued by incidents of violent crime. Just this week, former minister General Katumba Amala was attacked and his driver and daughter killed in Kampala, which prompted President Seven to accuse the police of not using the surveillance technology. The member of parliament for Kampala Central, Muhammad Insereko, says that police and other investigation bodies should start demonstrating how they use the CCTV footage to address the problem of crime. Of course, people are no longer confident that these cameras are functional. And the burden to give them that confidence is this government. How? If you continue showcasing crime series and investigations, and those that have been resolved, one, part of this evidence should be adduced in courts of law. And then, let's see that being also aired on TV, after a case has been concluded. Julius Katabalua, a lawyer, wonders if the security cameras have the ability to properly identify criminals. In 2018, the cameras installed included facial recognition and number plate recognition equipment. There is what we call population management system. Population management system is where you find a project like, like, like cameras is merged with uh, the, the, the national database of NIRA, whereby that w when the camera senses anything, and it, it sends the signal to the command center. The command center, the system of the command center, is merged with the national uh, database of NIRA. You know who is who, his names, and from where. They say that the officials manning the CCTV command center need better training. Their working conditions are not the best. Their training is not up to date, you know. We need trainers of these people to come from countries where they have been using artificial intelligence to show them how it is used to detect crime, but also fitting cameras that are security cameras that are fit for purpose with the infrared uh, that can detect weapons, that have sound detection to detect, you know, explosives. In its order, we need to fight corruption. Secondly, we need to employ or deploy right people at the right time. Who are we deploying? How trained are they? You may find in this case that uh, even people who are operating cameras, they are not trained sufficiently enough to operate these cameras. Corruption has also been highlighted as a stumbling block in applying CCTV camera footage in investigations. Who are you investigating? What capacity does he? How is he connected? Let me tell you, I really want to tell you that these, these assassination characters are not done by common people. They are done, they are done, they are done by people who are well facilitated and who are well connected. The police declined to comment on the usage of the CCTVs because of the ongoing investigations into Geno Katumba's attempted assassination. Jumakiria, NTV.